Hello, friend, and welcome back once again to Gary Grigsby's War in the East and playing against Code Chopper. Let's circle to you where we left off previously in the north, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Wait, what? Oh man, really? I uh, I did save this. Man, this is really sucks. Like, I'm 100% sure that I saved the game and I didn't quit. Ooh. That kind of stuff is always such a big barrier. If you have to replay. Ah, eh, crap. All right. I already did all the air war before, so that is mighty unfortunate. Also, I did take care of all the stuff here. All right, well, let's go over the events then. We capture Salmi, advancing Finnish forces reach the north shore of Lake Ladoga and capture Salmi. Ladoga, Karelia region captured by the Axis. And V signed July 19th, 1941. Prime Minister Winston Churchill referred approvingly for the V for Victory campaign in a speech. From this point, he started using the V-hand sign. The V-sign was unofficially adopted as the Allied signal, along with the motive of Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. The Germans also adopted the V-sign, sometimes adding, adding laurel leaves under it, painting their own Vs on walls, vehicles, and adding a massive V on the Eiffel Tower. Right, right. Um, the uh, region that they're talking about is this here. This piece with Salmi being here. Uh, the one hex that I really want, of course, is this here piece. This is the part that I want because it blocks off one of the rails to Leningrad. Now, my opponent can't use it for troops, but he can use it for resources. Any which way, <coughs> let's just get to it. Let's start with Norway. So, Norway is pretty much fine. Nothing really to do there. I have slightly higher naval, but um, I can't really remove either of those. Um, so it's okay. In terms of Finland, we'll get some extra unit there on the next turn. So I also don't need to do that. Because next turn I'm getting the Commando Battalion, Jaeger Brigade, Cavalry Brigade, that should be enough. I do want to pull out some of those Mountain Divisions, for sure. That's four Mountain Divisions that I want to put somewhere else. And I, I could use infantry units or pretty much anything for that, so we'll see. Uh, but not right now. Garrison is not active yet. Africa, we actually have quite a bit too much now. For Africa, we will be getting some units next turn as it is. So what I did is, uh, I know I will go below 100, but I pulled 15th Panzer. I'm going to send it to the map. Take four turns. Like I said, it will put me up below 100, but with the force that I get next turn, I'll be okay. Then in terms of air, they actually have a bit too much. And I can also pull something out and put them in the reserves. Any fighters then that I can get anywhere else, that'd be, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, 104 is fine. The nice thing about it in that sense is that uh, I can get them on the map and I need them pretty much anywhere on the map really. Especially once uh, we start going less fast. My opponent is very active when it comes to bombing and stuff like that so I need every plane I can get out there. Um, okay, so Italy has too much naval. Um, and that can be pretty interesting because that means that I could 
technically switch it up, not here. Although I do have one of Klangsgruppen. Let's see if I can just send them. Uh, I could not. Okay, that's fine because I can send more torpedo stuff from Italy. And naval is recon. So um, I'm currently a half short. And I'm at 1664 here. This is already an entire one, so that should already be enough for Africa. Um, yeah. Then I still have too much there. Means I could send recon somewhere else. How am I actually on recon here? Because recon actually does add a total of 5% out of 30, which would be 15. So I could actually send one more recon over to Western Europe. I'm um, at 1568 now. That took away a lot. Wow. Um, okay, that's that's fine. It means Western Front will be filled. Um. Patrol here out of 91. This is actually quite good, yeah. Um, I cannot really take out any more naval for Italy, but uh, that's okay. Um, I do have th three in terms of ground that I can take, which means I could once again send a unit to Balkans, and it will allow me to shift forces even if i can take just only static divisions away that's already fine they can be put somewhere else where they're still useful i can uh, the garrison um yeah so let's see if i have even any yeah this italian coastal divisions One oh five. These are not uh, particularly great. Three. One one. Let's keep it at that. Excellent. That's completely fine. I do actually have a few mountain units that uh, are worth something too, but um, I want to really, you know, shift around German units. Most of all, I have a security unit here. Interestingly enough, as well. Either way, that means that Balkans is now at 123 in air. I'll leave it at that. That's fine because I don't actually have that much air and I cannot send either of those away really. On the ground, that means I have 17 extra. And that means I can send some of these. I will need 55 or I believe 60 in the, the garrison. So, let's start working on that. 111. 106. I can probably take one more. And 
if I do get below 100, which I did not, I'm getting more troops next turn. All right, well, that's that. Then here, I also have a bit too much air day, interestingly enough. Too many fighters, I suppose. Well, that's good. I can send them somewhere else because uh, I cannot take them from Norway, I think. Eight percent, two percent. I should actually be able to take some AA from Norway. Probably because I cannot take any more air units. One forty nine, eh? That's actually some flak. Good enough. They take this down a little bit. Could probably take another one. This one is probably worth more. 100. There is no ground combat, so I can almost pretty much do as I please here. All right. Um, they're acting as if I don't have enough in Norway, but I do. Okay. Um, I already kind of sent like 15. And... That was a total of three units. One, two, three, four. That might already be enough, but I'll take a look. I could always send more later on. I think I'd rather focus on the infantry here for now. <clears throat> and getting those onto the map. So... Units that would have gone to the map otherwise as well. I will send them now. Four twenty six. There is again no ground combat, so and very little air combat. I'm not gonna lose anything here. Let's see if there are other units. Two hundred eleventh. Two eighteen. That means I cannot really send any more infantry at the moment. Uh, it could be that I can send another construction unit. And could send more fighters again. At least one. I don't know why these Italian fighters are here. Well, I guess Italy has too many fighters too, so that's why they're here. Fair enough, that means I can send German fighters to the Eastern Front. Um... Send them to the reserves. Take a look. 102. Ooh, that went fast. Uh, but it's fine. I also still have to do any bombers. But I. Do I have bombers in the garrison already? 
Yes, I do. And those bowers are going to take a good 10%. Technically, I can send patrol to the Soviet Union garrison too, just like fighters. Um, it seems a bit weird maybe to do that, but that actually does mean I get to send more ground units to the Eastern Front, which is just generally what I want. I want to have as many ground units on the Eastern Front. I know it's tough in terms of supplies, but... Um, We'll make it. I think my supply situation will improve considerably in 1942, and then I want to have as many men on the ground as possible out there. Um, so this is fine too at this point. Yeah. I have gazillion flak here, way too much. Not flak low though, which is actually pretty interesting. Because I could get that even higher. So most of this motorized light flak battalion stuff, I can still send it. But I wouldn't want to send this flak regiment because it has a lot of heavy flak too. I don't even know if it slows down units, so. Um, okay, well. The next thing to do is fly Jager Schrader 54 up to this airbase. Yes. Um, and Koluft north to Riga. I did a lot of movement with my plane, so it kind of just sucks. Having to do it like this. Um, okay, I want KG1 over to Parno. And I want KG76 over here to Tallinn. Because if I'm gonna besiege Leningrad, I'm going to need to run naval interdiction north of Leningrad too, so I will send it up. Um, um, I'm going to send these over to Orsha and Actually, what I'm going to do here, I think. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to switch up the fighters to an older model. Yes, of Yucca Schrader 53. So then I'll have more um, BF 109F2s. And that means that they cannot travel. Let's transfer these to Orsha and see if I could actually get some support going for them. Uh, we'll see. These will still operate from here, unfortunately. But, uh, also, again, nothing to be done about that. Um,. Yeah. Okay. Um. 
Um, fair enough. So, I was just thinking about my uh, supplies here. Um, next up, we have the Transcoop Mitte. I actually want to go and basically fly them over to Kaunas. And Kaunas has. 32, so I can actually send a few more. And the other two are going to fly to Vilnius, which they also can. And that just brings them slightly closer to the front and might allow me to fly them a little bit better. Um, okay, then currently I actually do get supplies up to Orani and also I have a space at Minsk now for some recon. Um, let's start with Koluft 4. And Call of Second Panzer Group is now all over the place. I'm going to send those to Brest. which is at 42. Can't do it. Or I cannot send any of these uh, other units there now. I really need big airfields for it. Um, what I am going to do is I am going to move STG-1, even though it cannot fly yet. over to Vitebsk. And STG2 as well. And we'll see up to what extent they can already run by that point. Um, let's get you into Orani. Um, I certainly still have a lot of planes to move, but uh, I don't have any airfields. I will be building airfields over in the Smolensk region once I've completely security too, although I do have quite a decent amount of air bases around Orsha as well, so there is that, but uh, I just can't move everything yet. The only thing that I kind of want to move still is Koluf 9. Let's do it. Let's send those to Minsk as well. There we are. Mm. Yeah. All right, then in the south, um, the situation is the most problematic in a sense in terms of planes. I do have all those airfields over here. And. I'm gonna 
Move the Hungarians over up in here. For now. They get their planes from Italy, interestingly enough. Hungarian Recon Group. Six planes. That's a lot of recon, though. Um, so they actually can run quite a bit of recon if I so want it. I'm going to use them right now, but it does mean I can use them against Kiev. Get this Hungarian recon. Let's get the bombers as well. I'll be getting my uh, rail there soon, so. be fine and then I have the Hungarian uh, transport group I will send it to Raf now see that, that actually works so excellent that's the Hungarian air command um They're quite fine now. Um, next up. My German units cannot really move forward by any much because I don't have any other airfields at this point although uh, let's see yeah I could actually send the Slovakian fighters over there too the Slovakian fighters are exhaustive so I actually cannot get any new, new ones. <clears throat> Which is pretty interesting. Uh, because uh, if we look at the production here for Slovakia, they are not producing any planes. I guess they get some German planes, maybe? Not really sure. I don't, I don't think we do. Um, we can actually see that in the logistics phase because I think it shows somewhere. Uh, 
Yeah, here in, in replacement. So, for example, we send field guns here to Finland, BA-20 armored cars to Finland, one only. Panzer T-38E to Slovakia. And... Planes... Yeah, it doesn't show me sending any planes to uh, to Slovakia here. These Falcos are exported from Italy to Hungary. That's, that's okay. Um, okay, so... Next up, I want... These two... To go to Tiraspol. Come on, seriously. And I cannot get my my bombers any closer. But there's our Romanian recon. Let's send them over to Kshinev. What do I have in Yassi? Two hurricanes. Okay. These are supposed to be fighters. Now, as far as the Romanians go, I can actually switch these up. Let's switch up these two hurricanes for PLZ 24 E's. Which are not as great, obviously, here, looking at the stats, but... Yeah. And then, um, I'm sure they'll fill that up, I think. At least I hope. They should. Um, not quite. Sure, though. <clears throat> Where it would do that. Shujar Fidipo is captured, okay. Um, yeah, this actually doesn't say anything about putting more units into something. Doesn't say anything about replacements. Either way, we also have the Romanian fighter flotilla, and then I actually want to change the 5th Romanian fighter group, which currently has these EE-112Bs, and let's switch that to the BF-109s. And then they should be filling that up too. Um... I can't really move forward to any other new airfield, so let's go to the air directives. Starting with Army Group North and its recon. Trying to resupply, that doesn't work. Oh well. Okay, so as for recon. Let's actually do this. 
And I also kind of want to look in this direction. Here. Because uh, if I can just move up to the rail here, that will cut off the major rail to Leningrad. We'll see how that goes. If it's poorly defended or maybe not even defended at all. That will make it... Easier, I guess. I don't necessarily need any recon here. I'll just run my infantry into it. And then I'll have ground support with just Jugger Schrader 54. I don't need any additional support for this turn. Nor would I need to run or try to run naval interdiction here already. That's not useful yet. How much interdiction do they have there by themselves anyway? Two? Uh, two is not too bad. Okay, uh, Air Fleet 2. Let's take a look at that recon. Let's run the recon like this. Where are you running that recon from? From there? No, I left the staging base, base at Minsk. Makes a lot more sense. And I actually want the other recon down here, uh, like this. Two, three, five, six. That's being run from Brebrusk. And this is being run from Minsk. Uh, fine. And then the ground support. Um, I actually want to include these guys, if I can. STG 1 and STG 2. Um, what is your range though? Because if I cannot get it... Nope, okay, so I'm not including them this turn. Because I cannot get my, my fighters up here. Um... Most likely they cannot fly either. Hmm. Well, we'll see actually. This Jacker Schrader 27. So, let's take a look at ground support. Oh. All right, well, they are supposedly included. So we'll, we'll see whether it does become useful. I, I, I do want to keep it then. Um, Air Fleet 4. In terms of recon, I don't actually want recon there, but I want recon here in this hex. And I actually do think that recon like this is good. Let's have it. No. Like this. Here. Okay. Um that's looking fine. Ground support is Slovakian fighters, the, uh, basically all the Jäger Schraders that we can get. And then I also want to run Naval Patrol. 
with the Romanians and Air Fleet 4, but, uh, hmm. This would block off the port. If I do it five days, I want to see whether I can actually fill it up all those days. do this I will also run it for the Romanians now let me actually check which days I'm running for Air Fleet 4 okay so 2 and 5 I skipped so I definitely want those days That's a three and seven. Okay. This runs a lot less, obviously, but. See what it does. Didn't seem to run it that much on the first day. Hmm. Actually lost a lot of planes on operational. Not that much in anything else, but I wonder what I lost. Might be a lot of the Romanian air units. A lot of sorties here. Okay. Okay, with the bare minimum of air interdiction here, wow. Well, my opponent is not contesting, that's very interesting. Huh. Okay, well, we are to that. Let's, uh, let's just start here in the north. Get these guys to move, take those last two hexes, which is yeah, rather silly, but whatever. Um, and then get them out. Uh, let's get all of these in Tukums. They have, they're actually pretty reasonable with the way they're doing currently. Um, you know, uh, yeah, we'll actually give these guys let's see, because at the 
at the very least, I need another unit to move in here and block this off. Kind of sucks that it's motorized, but it's fine for now. Let's give all of them flak. Okay, back. Um, I don't think these guys are necessarily worth fighting over. They'll just shatter. Oh. Yeah. Rather than this guy, I did, they didn't take too many losses, unfortunately, but I kind of need to get up here. I guess whatever unit this is is now isolated, but I don't want it to do any weird stuff. Yeah, there's retreats. Oh, they're going into dark too. Okay. Oh, I actually lost a lot of planes comparatively here. Probably due to rain too. Shouldn't have let them fly out of there. Um, you know, I, I think this place is empty, but they're so low on combat value might just as well leave it now I guess at this point um, I'd like to move these to the back and at least recover a bit but I also want to isolate these it's a rifle regiment. I'm sure it will not be a whole lot. But yes, it's just a regiment. This should, this should get captured out here. Should be fine. And I will be moving these guys up, but things will be slow with the weather also being the way it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll use the security unit for this. I've turned six and turned seven, so should be fine. Okay, let's at least run the rail up into Skoff, or not entirely yet, I suppose. Um, what do we have? Here. Some of these guys are just straight under 18th army, which is weird. But let's go in here. Some of these are fairly weak, they will have to recover quite soon. But I just want to see how far I can go. It seems like my opponent is making up a line here. I'm not quite sure now whether he has something there as it is, but I don't really want to send armor into this area either. So I'd rather just go and grab infantry there. Pollet size is actually quite weak. I wonder why though. They're 94. Maybe they just have relatively low morale. Doesn't really seem like that. They have some exhaustion, but they're in very low supply. They should probably just wait at least for a turn there. Being at six already at the start, that's just no good. Seems like general movement around this area is not going very great. Well, 
to be completely honest, I'd rather just move these guys up here. I'm sure there's nothing within these hexes over here, so it should be fine. Um, but whenever you get the territory that where you cannot see anything, you do want to be careful. So that's this HQ. You also have a few units. These aren't doing super great. And they're not going to get a whole lot of rest being here. 84, huh? Could send them to Dagovpilsk this turn and let them rest there. Could be a thing. I want to move some units up on the Torpets and Dreopol area towards Rajev on this side. I'm sure they'll be heavy fighting. The thing is that the rest of this territory is not so important. So. We'll see how far my opponent has retreated. Hmm. He has put a unit here. It wouldn't surprise me if he started building up along this river. But then he is giving me a lot of free territory, although my units will be somewhat weakened. I think as for these though, one, two, three, four, I have five hexes around here which can still be worked on technically. I guess I will do that in my um, desire to fix up Latvia and Estonia in terms of rail, because it goes a lot faster. At least some of it. This is all damaged. And let it run over to this side. Um, if I had another core, I would actually take two of these and send them over to this side. Maybe, maybe I should do that, actually. It's probably for the better. I'll be using the security unit over here to take over these hexes. Um... 
Yeah, because I can use this security for this too, and then later that, I think. Yeah. Let's get the second core. I find it crazy that it actually, that they cannot move in here. Let's just take that hex too then. Okay, so they do have a unit in there. Um, not really a particularly great progress, but it does At least, um, put the units quite nicely. Um, Yeah, let's just cut this area off though. So it's not important, but uh, that way things will be going okay. Um, weather is really playing its part here. How is the weather next turn? At least there will not be rain, there will still be mud. Um, neither of those hexes seceded, so my opponent also has units in there. I don't really care about this that much. I really want to work on the Novgorod area, so. Uh, but I might wait with them, just so they also will be able to regain some supplies. There's no use for them to run through this territory, so... I don't really see why I indeed would do that. I'm still just grabbing territory here, as it is. And I, I just straight up don't need that many units for that. Okay. Are we approaching AF hey, 39? So that's actually the best unit. Uh, you'll have 20. But I don't want to attack with anything else. Let, let's go with Totenkopf. That's a pretty weak CV here. You can use a soft attack on the mechanized. Taking it down. Only retreating, interestingly enough, but it doesn't have any more tanks. Uh, I have no infantry that can go there, so I'll use... These guys to take Staria Rusa. Yeah, that's great. My opponent is leaving this undefended. Probably trying to get stuff into Leningrad, but that just means that I can cut them off now by getting into this rail. Um, now that I'm across, I, I also don't need to commit a whole lot of forces to this, most likely. Although he will see that I will have I've taken this. Um, I 
to, despite the way it looks, I think actually I probably want to get a, a rail line up to Star Yorusa first. Um, which might seem a bit weird. But I don't think it is really. Okay. Um. Let's keep moving, taking some of those hexes. I will actually leave you on the refit for this turn. They're at 91, but want them to get a bit more supply as well. I don't actually have that much armor either way. And I kind of want to do the same with 6th Panzer. Um... I think I can maybe still take it with the soft attack tank division yeah and move in here Take Novgorod and they cannot attack this mechanized, that's fine. Um, hmm. Being able to take at least some of those hexes would be nice. Um, I think I do want to use first panzer for that. Maybe I can run it up to Maga or Luga. Yep. case let's leave pullet's eye here I will um, keep the somewhat weaker units over on this side um, if I can only use strategic movement I will and let's actually only get you up to, to know here. It also means they won't deviate too much from the supply lines. Which I think is fine. That's not too bad. Um, that would suggest that next turn I can work my way towards going here. 
cutting off the double rail and denying my opponent the ability to reinforce Leningrad. Um, again, any flak that I can get on my uh, my units, I will like this. I don't really care that much about the other units, but definitely have to put that out there. One, two, three, four, five. And I think first core. I also have 28th core. Still in range. All right, perfect. That means 18th army can also stay there. I haven't decided yet on what to do with these. Might need another unit clearing territory over here for the moment. I don't think my opponent is going to do anything frisky around here, but we'll see. Um, it also means I have an entire core that still gets to move up. And I guess also should. But I also want to let them recover and regain organization. I think for Army Group North, that's looking pretty solid. I was under the impression my opponent might have lines there, but what my opponent might do is just give up on Leningrad altogether. I don't, I don't think that's actually a good idea, but he is putting a huge amount of forces at Smolensk, most likely. Though, if I don't actually prioritize Smolensk, and well, I don't want to say it doesn't, doesn't hurt me. But uh, at that point, it kind of doesn't matter to me. <laughs> so. <laughs> My opponent has a unit there, huh? Interesting. Oops really do have a lot but that's fine I'm still just using these to take territory in the swamps if I can encircle this then it doesn't really matter anymore but uh, all right let's actually just do a bit of rail work for this episode although I think I'm already over time yeah um, so I'm gonna end the video here thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this if you did please consider leaving a like comment or subscribe and i will see you all in the next episode after i'm done fixing this up here Not bad work on a rail line, to be honest, but um, I 
Not completely sure as to how quickly I'm gonna get Kiev now. And that means I actually might... Like if I go here and then work on the rail line like this for a bit, going back up here I can make a circle, but then I'd still have to move back to get the double rail around Kiev. Well, it's something to think about. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.